Simmons will watch the squad's second intra-squad warm-up game from his balcony this week and will be permitted to join back up with the group on Thursday if he returns two negative COVID-19 tests. Grave responded in the affirmative when questioned whether Simmons had sought permission to leave the bubble. Grave said, and I quote, No one can leave or enter the biosecure environment without the express permission of the on-site medical staff and must follow strict medical protocols. Phil Simmons is now going through the re-entry process, having had his whole exit and entry approved and managed by the medical teams. End quote. The CEO confirmed that two COVID-19 tests done on the coach came back negative. Graves said, and I quote, People will leave the bubble from time to time, but always with prior approval from the chief medical officers and with their exit and re-entry carefully managed. End quote. Grave cited an instance just a few days ago where a player had to visit the dentist and he was accompanied by manager Ron Lewis. Simmons being in self-isolation means that the coaching duties fall now on assistant coaches Roddy Estwick and Rion Griffith as the West Indies start a four-day first-class fixture on Monday with Floyd Reefer helping out as the batting coach. West Indies are preparing to face England in three test matches at biosecure venues behind closed doors with the first match starting July 8.